so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Hey, it's me, Blippi! I think we should draw something together. A big machine that puts out fires. And most of the time, it's the color red. Yeah, a fire truck! Let's draw this. All right, first there's gonna be a rectangle up front for the cab. Whoa! And then, whoa, a sideways rectangle. Yeah, and that's where all the tools are. We went up here. Yeah, we can draw another rectangle with a bunch of lines on it. Yeah, do you know what that is? Yeah, the ladder. And you can't forget about the wheels and tires. There we go. Oh, and a window for the cab. Oh, and then circle. A circle, a circle, a circle. Yeah, it looks like a spiral. And that is the hose and the sprayer. Yeah. Can't forget about the half circle up there for the siren. Wow! Now that's a great looking fire truck. <laughs> if you want to keep drawing with me, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I. Flippy. All right, see you again. Bye-bye. Hey, it's me, Flippy. And today we're at the Bellevue, Washington Fire Station. And today, we're gonna learn about fire trucks, ambulances, and the fire station. Look at what it is. This is a big red fire truck. Whoa, come check it out. Ooh. Wow, look at all these gauges. Huh, so interesting. Hey, look. It's a compartment with a lot of cool things in it. All right. Let's go look at the fire station. Come on. Whoa. <laughs> All right. Check out in here. So it's really important for firefighters to stay nice and fit. Like over here. These weights. These are bicep curls. And they make your arms nice and strong. It's really important for firefighters to stay in shape because when they go in houses that are burning, they might need to carry someone down the stairs or up the stairs and then down the ladder. <laughs> oh, hey, look. Whoa. Medicine balls. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love exercising. Hey, some jump ropes. <laughs> Have you ever jumped rope before? Check this out. See, every time I jump, the rope goes underneath my feet one time. And now, I'm gonna make it go, oh, <laughs> I messed up. I'm gonna make it go under my feet two times every time. <laughs> Twice. Being physically fit is really fun. All right, this is a treadmill. It's where you can walk and then be in one place. See? And you can also run. Whoa, here I go. Oh, it's getting faster and faster. Now I just went really fast. All right, hit the tunes. <sighs> That's fun. Oh, hey, pull-ups. Woo! Now, last but not least, the bench press. This is a great way to keep your upper body nice and fit. So then, like I said, firefighters can help people and they're nice and strong. Yeah! All right, now let me show you the rest of the fire station. Come on. Ooh. Check this out. 
Cool. <laughs> so, not only do firefighters eat healthy and exercise at the fire stations, they also have to sleep because firefighters are here day and night. And just like you and I, firefighters need to sleep. And the reason why firefighters have a bed at the fire station is because they need to be really close to the fire trucks and ambulances, just in case if there's an emergency. So, nighty night. No time for sleeping now. I want to show you an ambulance. Let's go. Woo! Look at what it is. It's a medic unit, also known as an ambulance. Let's go check it out. Come on. Let's look inside the cab. Whoa! Now we're inside the ambulance. All right, let's shut the door. First things first, safety first. Let's put on our seat belt. All right, here it is. <laughs> All right, now we're ready. Whoa, what's this? It looks like a giant map. Whoa, you can use this so then you can see where you're gonna go. Um, right there. <laughs> All right. Oh, a computer? Whoa. This tells you where you're gonna go, like the address, the information, all about the call that you're doing. Oh, hey, look, a steering wheel. <laughs> that was the horn. Hey, move, we're going to help some people. Whoa, whoa, what are these? These are headsets. Listen. Hello, hello. It's Medic Blippi. Do you need help? All right. We're going to come help you. <laughs> That's awesome. Whoa. Check this out down here. The siren. Listen. <laughs> ever hear that and you're in a vehicle or on the sidewalk, get to the side because the ambulance is going to help someone. All right, and this right here turns on all of the lights. Go check them out. Whoa, the lights are so bright. Oh, check out this compartment. I wonder what's inside. Oh, hey. <laughs> this right here is a heart rate monitor. It gives all the medics the information about your heart. And this, this, yeah, is a medical unit pack. Whoa, there's so many interesting things in here. Whoa, hey, like a stethoscope. hear my heartbeat. Wow, that is so interesting. All right, let's lock this back up and go check out what else is around here. Ooh, whoa, another compartment. This is where all the firefighter gear is. See, here's some jackets. Oh, hey, and here's even a helmet that they wear when they go into areas with fires. Hey, do you know another time that you should wear a helmet? when you ride a bicycle. <laughs> All right. Oh, the back of the ambulance. Oh, get ready. Whoa. Look at this. This is the stretcher. Watch out, here it comes. See this? 
this is what you might get a lay on sometime. And if you do, just be very calm. The people are trying to help you. All right, let's leave this right here. <laughs> All right. Oh, let's go inside the back of the ambulance. Let's go. Oh, here we are. This is another entrance. Come on. Whoa, it's so bright and light in here. Wow, very interesting. Oh, hey, look at what it is. It's another stethoscope. <laughs> Put it on my ears. Listen. Do you hear that? Yeah, that's my heart beating. I'm nice and healthy. <laughs> All right, put that right there. What else is around here? Oh, hey, look, rubber gloves. I'll put one of these on. Oh. All right, these keep my hands nice and clean when I'm working in the back of the ambulance. Hey, what color is this? Yeah, it's the color blue. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, look at this. Ew. Do you see this? That's Mr. Yuck. If you ever see Mr. Yuck somewhere, do not eat it. Don't drink it. And we should probably stay away. <laughs> Let's look in another cupboard. Hey, like this one. Wow. That's interesting. A lot of medications and things to help people if you're in trouble. Hey, just know, if you ever need to ride in an ambulance, be careful, be nice and calm because the people in here are just trying to help you. Well, let's go have some more fun. Whoa, what is that? That looks like a hospital on wheels. It's an ambulance. It's an ambulance. It's an ambulance. It's a little hospital on wheels. It's a vehicle that can transport people who are sick or hurt to the nearest hospital with a medical team that rides around, always ready for people who need help it's now. It's an ambulance. It's an ambulance. It's an ambulance. It's an ambulance, it's an ambulance, it's a little hospital on wheels. You can call it up in emergencies, the siren turns on and it races to the scene. Some are yellow and green, some red, white or blue, but they're all here to help me and you. So many neat things in an ambulance, like oxygen tanks and first aid kits. There's a stretcher in the back, the patient lays It's an ambulance, it's an ambulance, it's an ambulance, it's a little hospital on wheels. All right, now let me show you one of my favorite parts. <laughs> Come on. Ooh, yeah, this is the kitchen. And this is a fridge <laughs> with a lot of food in it. Here's another one. Wow. Firefighters work really long days and nights, and so they have to have a kitchen so they can eat and stay nice and healthy. Oh, hey, look, here's some food. Ooh, this looks tasty. We have some salad, a potato, we even have some chips. Ooh, and a strawberry. Yum. So what we're doing now is we're just getting ready for a training exercise. Yeah, we're doing really good. What's that? 
Yeah, I see lights. I hear a siren. That must mean that there's a fire. We gotta go help some people. Let's go, come on. Oh, do you hear that? That's the sirens and the lights. We need to get all of our fire equipment on. Okay. First, our pants and the boots. We need to take off our shoes. One shoe. Two shoes. All right, I need to hurry. All right, there we go. Got my boots on. <laughs> All right, here we go. Put on my pants. Nice, nice and buckled. Put on my suspenders over my orange suspenders. All right, tight, tighten that up. Oh. All right, Ooh, my jacket. <laughs> Put this on. All of this will keep me safe when I'm at the fire. Right, here we go. We need to zip it up. Ooh. Here's the zipper. Put it in there like that. There we go. Velcro. Okay, uh, then we have the helmet. This will keep my head safe. Perfect. Tighten it up. And then last but not least, my two gloves. <laughs> All right. Man, I got ready really quick because I don't know what's happening there. All right, let's go. something else really cool to show you. First, I need to take off my helmet. Let's put that right up there. The next thing I have to do is put on a mask. This goes all around my head to keep my ear and my hair safe. <laughs> all right. Woo, all right, check out my sweet hood. <laughs> yeah, this is the color black. All right. The next piece of equipment I'm gonna put on is this mask. This mask is gonna help protect my eyes and then be able to deliver clean oxygen so I can breathe in the smoke. Are you ready? Ooh, look at me now. I have my mask on. Hey, if there's a firefighter trying to help you, they might look like this, but that's okay. They're not scary. They're just trying to help you. Okay, let me put on my helmet now. There we go. Now that it's nice and snug, I'm gonna put on the air tank. Ooh, yeah. Look, it's an air tank. This is what provides air to me. 
just like. Whoa! See? Now I can breathe when I'm going through a burning house. Do you hear that? So what that is, is air coming from the tank, going through the tube, into my mouth. So then, smoke doesn't come inside. All right, let's go check out some more of the fire station. Woo! All right, now let me show you some of the parts of the fire truck. Whoa, look at this. This is a really big wheel and tire. Whoa, it's silver and black. <laughs> okay, let me show you inside the fire truck. Check it out. Whoa, that's really neat in there. They look like they're ready to go to a fire. <laughs> oh, look at this. Whoa, there are so many gauges. Huh, interesting. There's so many, I don't even know what they're for. <laughs> Ooh, look at in here. Whoa, one compartment. Another compartment. And this compartment has fire extinguishers. Let's count them. One, two, three. Good job, come on. Interesting, more things. Like a little broom. It's nice and clean. Let's go to the back. Woo, wait, where are you going? Come over here. Do you see those? There's so many different sizes of hoses. Oh, interesting. All right, what else do we have? Hey, here's a compartment. Whoa, look in there. Whee! This is a really big ladder. So then the firefighters can go up really high and save people off of roofs and windows. I'll lock it back up. There we go. Ooh, what's in here? Huh, hey! Yeah, a chainsaw! Wow, there's so much great equipment on a fire truck! Hey, another compartment! Hey, bolt cutters! An axe! Wow, even, look! Yeah, even! <laughs> A hammer! Alright, I'll just set that right there. <laughs> Whoa, look at this! This is where you connect the fire hydrant to the fire truck. And let me show you. Have you ever wondered what this thing is at a fire station? Yeah. This is what connects to the fire engine's exhaust. So then, no smoke from the fire truck goes inside. Yeah! All right! That was awesome! Woo! <laughs> that was so much fun learning about fire engines, medic units, <laughs> ambulances, and the life of a firefighter at the fire station. Hey, it's really important to know what number to call if there's an emergency. So, be sure to ask a grown-up what number to call if there is an emergency, like a fire. Hey, it's also really important to have a working smoke detector and carbon monoxide detector. So then, if there's ever a problem, it will chirp like this. Yeah, and then you can call the emergency number, so then you'll get some help. Well. This is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, 
All you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. Flippy, good job. See you soon, bye-bye. Me, Flippy. Hi, and I'm Mika. And look at what's behind us. <gasps> a a fire, fire truck. truck. Today we're at High Tech Emergency Vehicle Service. In Oakdale, California. Yep, and here they build fire trucks for cities all over the country. Yeah, wait a second. Mika, I wonder if they'll let us help them build a fire truck Ooh, today. That would be so cool. Let's go. <laughs> Come on. Whoa. Cool. Yeah. Check out this fire truck! It's so new and big! Yeah, well this is a type 1 fire truck. One of the most common fire trucks there is! Wow, I wonder where they use this at. Oh, they use it in cities, in towns, to put out fires. It's also used in medical emergencies. Oh, so cool! Yeah! Whoa, speaking of cool, oh. Mika, check it out! Another one! Yeah! This one is a lot smaller. This is a type 6 fire truck. Oh, and look how big that wheel is! Yeah, exactly! This fire truck is used out in the wilderness. Not every oh. fire happens in the city. Yeah. Ooh, and look at this, Mika. Oh, there's a lot of space there. It's really high up. Yeah, if they had to go over a log or a tall rock, so then it doesn't hit the body. Yeah, the chassis of the fire truck. Oh, that's so smart. Oh, <laughs> these are so cool. Yeah, there's so many different kinds of fire trucks. Yeah, and a big bumper. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Wow, this one's really tall. Oh, it kind of looks like a mix between the last two. Yeah, this is a type 3 fire truck. Wow, it looks pretty tall. Uh -huh. But then it has the same kind of body. Yeah, you can use this truck for in big cities. Oh, and out in the wilderness. <laughs> cool. <laughs> oh, this is so much fun. Yeah, whoa, Blippi, look. Whoa. Whoa, this looks like the Type 1 fire truck. Yeah, and it's tilted over because they must be working on it. Oh, yeah, and do you see? There's not even the body attached to this fire truck. Yeah, come look. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, look right here. Yeah, there's a lot of tubes and a big engine. Yeah. Ooh, I see the hydraulic fluid. Ooh, some oil. Ooh, a bunch of cylinders. Yeah. This looks very powerful. It's so cool that we get to see the inside of this truck. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what if we can go see how they build these fire trucks? Yeah, let's go check it out. Come on. <laughs> hey. Hey, what's your name? I'm Brian Ruthman. Nice to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm Blippi. Hi, I'm Mika. So what do you do here? I'm the plant supervisor. Oh, cool. But what's this machine? Uh, this is a laser. It focuses beams of light through mirrors, and we use it to cut through the metal. Whoa, that's awesome. So it makes parts of a fire truck? Yeah, it makes the complete body and everything on the fire truck. Whoa. Oh, so the side of the fire truck. Yeah, the metal parts. This machine cuts them out. Whoa. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. What are you working on right now? Uh, we knew you were coming, so we decided to uh, draw up a Mika and a Blippi uh, logo. So we're going to be cutting that out on the laser today. Oh, cool. Yeah, so can we watch it be made? Yeah. Yep, we just got to put our safety glasses on. Oh, cool. Yes, first things first. Safety, safety first. first. <laughs> Whoa, how do I look? Oh, very nice. Oh, you too. Safe oh. and protected. Cool. Oh, can I press the start button? Yeah, it's right over here. Oh, yeah. Whoa, Whoa. check it out, Whoa. Blippi. Oh, yeah, my name, <laughs> Blippi. Will you spell my name with us? <laughs> B-L-I. P-P-I. <laughs> oh, and look, there's my name. Will you spell my name with us? M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. Oh, check it out, so many buttons and knobs. And yeah. <gasps> the start button. <laughs> Will you count down with us? Cool. <laughs> Three, two, one. Yeah. <gasps> Wow, it looks really good. Yeah, yours does too. 
thank you. Oh, <laughs> look, my glasses right here. Yep. Ooh, and my bow tie. Ooh, very nice. <laughs> look at mine. You can see the bow like I have in my hair. Oh. And oh, look, there's my jam pack. <laughs> cool. Wow, that was so much fun cutting out the names with that laser machine. Yeah, really cool. <laughs> Oh, hey. hey! Well, what do you think? Do they look good? Yeah, they look really good. Wow. Nice! <laughs> Thank you so much for showing us how to do that. Yeah, that was really fun. After this machine cuts pieces out of this metal, then what's the next step? Uh, the next step is uh, we take the pieces over to the body tables, and then we go over there and we start welding all the pieces together to form the fire truck Whoa. body. Oh, wow. cool! Could you show us? Yeah, follow me. All oh, right. Okay, let's go! Whoa, I know what this is. This is welding, right? Yep. Oh, welding? I've never welded before. What is it? Ooh, I think I know what it is. Can I answer? Yeah. <laughs> well, I think it's when you fuse two pieces of metal together with electricity, gas, and heat. Is that correct? Yep, that's right. Oh, wow. That sounds kind of complicated. <laughs> yeah, what's this that uh, they're welding? This is the front of a fire truck body. Whoa. Oh. So much work goes into building a fire truck. Yeah. And wait a second, what are those? Uh, these are your protective gloves and your protective helmet from the arc from the welder to protect your eyes and your oh, vision. Oh, looks like a cool helmet. Yeah. Why do you need to protect your eyes? Because uh, the arc's really, really bright and it'll damage your eyes. Oh. So. <laughs> wow. Well, if someone's going to be welding, do we get those really cool looking helmets? Yep, we have a helmet for each of oh, you here. Awesome. <laughs> Whoa, cool! Hey, Mega. look! Flippy, that's your name! Yeah! Hey, wait a second! Uh, In your name on yours! So awesome! Whoa. Thank you! Ooh, maybe we should try it on. Oh yeah, let's see if they fit. <laughs> Whoa! Hello? 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 Where'd you go? Huh? Oh. Hello? Whoa! It's so dark! Whoa! <laughs> wait, where are you? Oh, it's so dark in there! Yeah, it is! Wow, it's so dark! Whoa. Why do you wear the gloves? Uh, to protect it from the heat and the spark during the welding process. Whoa. Smart. <laughs> yep. Yeah, good to be safe. Yep. And are you going to be the welder today? Um, we have Matthew here, and he's going to teach you how to uh, weld the body. Oh, oh, all right, cool. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll be seeing you after this welding fun. Yep, I'll <laughs> catch you later at the paint shop. All, all right, right, see ya. ya. <laughs> oh, nice to meet you, Matthew. How long have you worked here for? Uh, three years now. Ah, cool. We're excited to see you weld. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Let's get started then. Oh, okay. All right. Oh. Ooh, he's putting on his gloves. Oh. Oh, and is that your really cool looking helmet? Yes, it is. Oh. Wow. Oh. So how do you actually <laughs> weld? You'll bring it up to your material uh -huh. or your metal. You'll start strike the arc and drag. We call it the puddle down of material. Oh. Okay. All right. He knows what he's doing. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're excited. All righty. Put these down now? Yes, sir. Oh, All right. It is time. <laughs> Whoa, cool. Is it safe to pull up our helmets? Yes, it is. Oh. Whoa. I can definitely see why you need a helmet. Yeah, that was really, really bright. <laughs> yeah. Hey, do you mind if I try? Of course you can. Whoa, oh. cool, Blippi. <laughs> <laughs> Here is a jacket for you to protect you from the sparks. Oh, oh. cool. Yeah, safety jacket. Nice. Yeah, how do I look? Oh, nice, it fits well. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I should probably button this up, right? All right, yep. so you have your jacket, your helmet, and what else does Blippi need? Gloves! <laughs> okay, go like this. Here's one glove. <laughs> and my second glove. Whoa. Two gloves. All right. Okay, well, I'm ready. Good luck, Blippi. Thank you. <laughs> Whoa! I think I did a pretty good job! Whoa, Blippi, that was awesome! Oh, look, I fused those pieces of metal together! How was it? It was really exhilarating. Oh, wow, that was really cool to watch. Yeah! 
Wow, well, that was really fun learning about welding. Yeah, thanks for showing us. Yeah. No problem. Well, should we go to the paint shop? Oh, yeah. All right. Let's see what's going on over there. We'll give you those. Thank you so much. All right. Should we take our signs? Yeah. So okay. We can paint them. Awesome. <laughs> thanks, Matthew. Yeah, thank you. Here you go. Okay. All right, see you later. Bye. See ya. <laughs> So big! Yeah, and look, we're wearing our paint suits. Why is this paint so big? That's so we can fit a fire truck in it. It's 80 feet long. Wow, you can paint an entire fire truck in here? Yep. Wow, cool. Whoa. Hey, Mika, look <gasps> our names. Oh, yeah, our signs are hanging up. They're ready to be painted. Whoa. Can we paint those today? Yep, we've got paint uh, sprayers for you, and we've got your colors mixed up, ready to go. <gasps> oh, I hope that you got purple. And either blue or orange for me? We have purple and orange. <gasps> yeah! <laughs> awesome! <laughs> We're excited. Shall we get started? Sure. I'll go get your uh, paint sprayers. All right. Okay. Get suited up, and we'll be ready to go. Perfect. All right. Hey. Glasses like this. Yep, and right. And the whisper. Whisper. I'm so ready. Hey, Nancy, it's gonna look so cool. Yeah, I can barely hear you, Nika. What? Wow. They're nice and dry now. Yeah, oh, nice purple, Mika. Oh, thank you, a nice orange, Blippi. Oh, thanks. Oh, <laughs> hey. Hey. Wow, how did they look? They look perfect. Oh, thank <laughs> you. <laughs> thanks for teaching us how to paint these. Yeah, and thank you so much for teaching us how fire trucks are built. Yeah, it was such a fun day. Yeah, I got a surprise waiting for you guys outside. <gasps> oh, wow. I can't wait to see what it is. Exciting, thank you. <laughs> see ya. <laughs> in the city. Yeah, and ones that put out forest fires. Whoa, and it's really cool being able to see that laser machine. Yeah, look at these really neat signs. Yeah. <laughs> and 
you got to try welding. Oh, yeah. That was so cool. Yeah. And you did a very great job with your painting. Well, thanks, Flippy. You did a great job, too. <laughs> oh, that was so much fun. Well, if you had fun and want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Yep. Will you spell my name with us? <laughs> Ready? B L I P P I. Flippy. <laughs> nice. Hey, will you spell my name with us? Cool. M E E K A H. Mika. Mika. All right, see you again. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> bye. Wait, did you hear that? Sounds like a fire call. Let's go. Yeah. It's me, Flippy, and I have a really cool fire truck here. <laughs> it looks just like a real life fire truck with a hose and horns, honk, 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 <laughs> and some really big wheels and tires. <laughs> I think it would be so cool to be a real life firefighter. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, look at it. It's a real life Firefighter pole, woo! <laughs> hey, let's slide down to the bottom. Okay, let's do it on the count of three. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> Whoa, I'm a little bit dizzy after that. <laughs> oh, look at it, it's a firefighter. Hello. <laughs> I think it's a really important job to be a firefighter because they help save people's lives and put out fires with a really big water hose. <laughs> hey, look, that's another job you could be. You could be a pilot. Yeah, and fly really big airplanes. <laughs> hey, you could also be an engineer. Ooh, well, what does an engineer do? They're really good at math. Yeah, like adding up numbers and subtracting numbers. Whew. And they plan all types of things so that other people can build them. <laughs> That's so silly. <laughs> hey, what do you want to be when you grow up? <laughs> that sounds really cool. I want to be that too. <laughs> hey. I have a really cool idea. How about you and I go to this place where we can pretend to do all kinds of different jobs. Oh, that would be so exciting and fun. And then you can pick your favorite job. <laughs> okay, will you go with me today? <laughs> yeah. Come on, let's go. I'll see you there. We made it to Great Explorations Children's Museum in St. Petersburg, Florida. <laughs> yeah, and I am so excited to learn all about jobs. Let's go. Woohoo! Whoa, this is one of my favorite places. This is a pizza oven inside of a pizza restaurant. Whoa. One job that you can have when you grow up is to be a chef. Ooh, chefs are so cool. <laughs> yeah, chefs are in charge of cooking all of the food at a restaurant. And I really like cooking pizza. <gasps> it's so tasty. <laughs> hey, I have an idea. How about you and I make a pizza together? <laughs> okay, here we go. First, we need one of these pizza paddles to put the pizza in the really hot oven because we don't want to touch it with our hands. <laughs> okay, we got that and we'll get a metal plate. Hmm. So first things first, we need to start with the pizza dough. <laughs> yeah, we'll get the pizza dough right here. Ooh. And sometimes when you get the pizza dough, it's crumpled up into a little ball. So yeah, stretch it. And sometimes spin it, whoa, <laughs> like this. 
And that helps to make it look like a circle. Yeah, look. It's a circle. <laughs> Good job. Okay, put the pizza dough down. And now we get to put on some yummy toppings. <laughs> hey, do you have a favorite pizza topping? Oh, uh, I like that one too. Okay, let's get started. Okay, we'll put on some tomato sauce. <gasps> oh, my favorite cheese. <gasps> I love pizza with lots of cheese. <laughs> okay, we'll put the cheese there. And now we can put all the toppings. We have some spinach. Ooh, <laughs> so tasty. And we have black olives. Whoa, <laughs> and they're all sliced up. Yeah, put those there. We have, whoa, <laughs> woo. <laughs> Do you know what these are? Yeah, these are mushrooms. We'll put these on too. We'll put on some onions, ooh. <laughs> and then once you get your pizza made, then put it into the oven. You'll wait. And it looks like our pizza is delicious <gasps> and all done. Yeah. <laughs> and now we get to go put it in a box. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, you did a really good job making a pizza with me. And now it's my favorite part. <laughs> <gasps> we get to eat the pizza. <gasps> mm, this pizza is really tasty. Mm -hmm. And that's because you helped me make it. Aw, <laughs> thanks so much. Wow, that was so cool learning about being a chef and making a lot of yummy pizza. <laughs> yeah! Whoa, look over here. Whoa, there are so many different types of animals. I love animals. Hey, do you have a favorite kind of animal? <laughs> yeah, I like that animal too. Whoa, look, we have some kitty cats and we have, hmm, this looks like a really big puppy dog. Hello, puppy dog. <laughs> so silly. Whoa, look, we have a really colorful parrot and a bunny rabbit. <laughs> yeah, let's go get a closer look. Come on. Whoa, look at this place. This place is a veterinarian's office. Yeah, a veterinarian or a vet. And that's a person that takes care of hurt or sick animals. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, look, we have some really cute animals here. Hello. <laughs> ah, this is such a cute puppy, but we want to make sure that this puppy is okay. So the first thing you can do is take it to get an MRI. Yeah, an MRI. It's basically a scanner that uses magnets to take pictures of this puppy, but not pictures on the outside where it's smiling. <laughs> pictures of all the stuff inside, like its bones to make sure they're not broken. And this puppy is doing really okay. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, puppy. Whoa, look at it. The MRI is showing the inside of this puppy's leg. Whoa, that's pretty cool. <laughs> well, this puppy seems to be pretty okay, but it looks like it hurt its leg. So we're gonna take care of it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go. The first thing we wanna do is put a bandage on its leg. So I'll use some dots. Oh, <laughs> we did it. We bandaged up this puppy. He's gonna be all better real soon. And the next thing we wanna do is give this puppy some medicine. Here you go, puppy. Up, up. Ooh. <laughs> He's happy and feeling better already. <laughs> yeah. And the last thing we wanna do is we wanna put this cone around its head because sometimes puppies get really playful and they take off their bandages. We don't wanna take it off until he's all better. <laughs> He is so cute. <laughs> yeah. I love being a veterinarian. Being a vet with you was really fun because we got to learn about animals and take care of them if they get sick or hurt. <laughs> Whoa, this was awesome. Whoa, look at what it is. It's a fire truck. <laughs> yeah. 
Whoa, fire trucks are so cool. And look at this. It has really big wheels and tires. Whoa. <laughs> and really bright headlights and a metal bumper. <laughs> I bet it would be really fun to ride in one of these. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> wow, it is so much fun riding in a fire truck. And look up here. Yeah, this right here is the firefighter's siren. And it goes like this. Yeah, when a firefighter has to go and help people from a fire, they turn this on and they honk their horns. And that lets everyone know in the area that there's an emergency and they should move off the street. Yeah, so they can get there nice and quick and safely. <laughs> Whoa, and look at this. This is a very important part of a fire truck. This is the fire ladder and it's really helpful for helping firefighters get up to really high buildings to save people and to use their hose to put out the fires. <laughs> Oh look, and these are the valves where you hook up the hose. But this is a really big fire hose. It's not like a regular hose you might have in your yard. <laughs> it's really, really, really powerful to push out the fires and make everyone safe. <laughs> yeah, come on. Whoa, look at this. This is the fire pole. Whoa. The fire pole is really helpful because in a firehouse, the firefighters, they live up on the second floor and the fire truck is on the first floor. So the pole helps them not have to take the stairs. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and do you see this? Yeah, this is a firefighter's uniform. It is so cool because it's fireproof. Yeah, if you or I were in a fire, that would be really dangerous because our clothes are flammable. They can catch on fire, but not a firefighter. They can go and save you because they're fireproof. Whoa, did you see the helmet? Yeah, look at this. This firefighter has a really cool yellow helmet and that protects their head from anything that might fall on it. Ooh, whoa, did you see this? <laughs> yeah, this is the really powerful fire hose. Whoa. This is so cool. There are so many different uh, adjustment valves. And look, it's really, really big so that it can have a very powerful spray to put out all the fires. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Maybe one day you and I can be firefighters too. And we can help save people. But to be a firefighter, you have to be really, really brave. Yeah, brave. Hey, do you know what being brave means? Yeah. When you're brave, that means you might be scared of something, but you do it anyway, because you're gonna help help people and keep them safe. <laughs> well, I really wanna do a job that will help people too. <laughs> yeah, that would be awesome. Woo! <laughs> Whoa, look at where we are. Yeah, a job that you can do when you grow up is being a nurse. <laughs> yeah. Being a nurse is a really great job because you help take care of others and make sure they get better when they might be sick. <laughs> Let's go see everything that a nurse does. Yeah. Whoa, look at this. Do you see it? This right here is a skeleton. Whoa, <laughs> there are so many bones. Yeah. Bones. Do you know what a bone is? Yeah. These are different types of bones. And a bone is what helps make you up. Yeah. Helps you stand nice and tall. Ooh. Yeah. It's right under your skin. Bones are really important. And it's important to take care of your bones. Well, it's really good to learn about bones because if you ever break a bone, you can go to a nurse and they can help you. Come on. Whoa, look at this box. It's really bright. Ah! <laughs> this will help us look at different kinds of x-rays. Yeah. Whoa, this right here, this is an x-ray. And it kind of just looks like a dark sheet. <laughs> but it actually 
is a picture of the inside of your hand. So when you put it up here, you can read the x-ray. Yeah, you can see all the different phones inside your hand. Whoa, and this is really helpful to take a picture, an x-ray of your hand, because if you break a bone, the nurse can say, hmm, you broke this bone and now we can fix it. Okay, <laughs> well, x-rays and nurses are pretty amazing. Whoa, and look at this over here. Another thing you do when you go see a nurse is you see how tall you are. Whoa, look, I'm five feet and 11 inches tall. That's pretty tall. <laughs> hey, do you know how tall you are? Whoa, <laughs> that's pretty tall too. And I bet when you grow up, you'll be even taller. Maybe five foot 11 or six foot or six foot one inch or seven feet tall. Whoa, that's really tall. <laughs> Being a nurse is an amazing job. Maybe one day I'll be a nurse when I grow up and I can help make people feel better. <laughs> yeah! Well, this was really exciting. Hey, I'll see you in just one second. Woo! Hey! <laughs> Whoa! That was so much fun learning about all those different types of jobs. <laughs> there were a lot of them. Whoa! <laughs> hey, which one was your favorite job? <laughs> yeah, I like that one a lot too. It was really fun doing that with you. <laughs> Whoa, look at this over here. Come on. Whoa, <laughs> do you see what it says? Curiosity Corner. Whoa, that means it's time for the Curiosity Corner where you and I get to learn all types of things. <laughs> hmm, but I wonder what we're gonna learn today. I guess you and I are just gonna have to find out. I'm so excited. Let's go. <laughs> hey, welcome to the Curiosity Corner, where we get to paint a really beautiful picture together. <laughs> and it looks like we have everything we need. We have our paints. Ooh, <laughs> look, we have three different colors. Blue, yellow, and red. <laughs> These colors are really important because they're primary colors. And primary colors are used to mix, get mixed up and make every other color in the rainbow. So we're gonna use these to paint a beautiful picture. Well, we're gonna need our palette with paints and a paintbrush. Okay, so let's wet our brush first. Then we get the paint. Okay, so first we wanna make a really cool orange, because it's my favorite fruit and favorite color. So we'll start with some yellow. Whoa, <laughs> it's so fun to mix up the paints. We're gonna make a circle. <laughs> Whoa, look, we made a yellow circle, but it's not quite the right color. So now we're gonna add another primary color, red. Just a little bit of red, and a little bit of water, and then you can mix it up to make an orange. Whoa, look at how pretty that color is. It has little bits of red and little bits of yellow and a lot of bit of orange. <laughs> Whoa, that was so much fun learning about colors with you and painting a really pretty picture. Time for me to go wash out my brush. <laughs> Oops, looks like we got some traffic here. <laughs> Whoa! That was so much fun learning about all those different kinds of jobs with you. <laughs> Whoa, there were so many different kinds. <laughs> well, even if you didn't pick your favorite today, that's okay. You have all the time in the world. <laughs> Just keep on exploring and being curious, and I'm sure you'll find what you will want to do when you grow up. <laughs> well, I'm having a lot of fun with these trucks. This fire truck and recycling truck Whoa, and this construction vehicle with an excavator arm. <laughs> well, that's 
the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I, -I. Flippy. Good job. <laughs> well, I'll see you soon.